Good evening Philippines, this is uh, Mike Padua and uh, we are back to our analysis for today, Monday until Wednesday, December 6 to 8, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and uh, let's begin now with our update since it's getting too late, it's uh, nearing uh, 12 midnight. We have still the northeast monsoon based on our latest graph set valid for the next 24 hours until tomorrow, Tuesday, December 7, affecting uh, uh, almost the whole of the Philippine Islands except for Mindanao, the northern portions at least. So we expect some uh, breezy conditions with some, although good weather, but there are times there are some passing cloudy skies with rain showers across the northern and eastern uh, coastal areas of uh, Luzon and also across portions of the Visayas and uh, we have a, a newly formed low pressure area uh, quasi stationary or barely moving or about 696 kilometers east of Mati City Davao Oriental so this is now known as LPA 95W as of this time, for the next 24 hours until tomorrow, the chances of becoming a tropical cyclone is currently low, or less than 35% chance. And uh, it is embedded within the uh, active surface trough all the way to the south of Mindanao or along the uh, Celebes Sea. But still, this uh, surface trough will affect Mindanao. And uh, we have another shallow LPA to the west of Borneo, but this is not a threat to our country. We are going to focus on this system because in the next few days, the forecast of this uh, weather system will uh, continue to, will start to move slowly towards the east, south, east to east. It will move up to this direction within the next five days. The reason behind this is because we have here a... Uh, uh, quite uh, anomalous uh, westerly wind burst. Uh, these are winds blowing near the equator uh, towards the west. So it pushes the system to move eastward. But on the uh, northern side of this system, we have strong easterly surface wind flow. Okay, so the winds on the uh, northern side is some somewhat there. Okay, moving towards the direction. As of this time, this is the uh, more uh, powerful uh, wind system. That's why it will track towards the east away from the Philippines. But on day 6 until day 10, that will be between, uh, let me see, uh, December uh, 11 or 12, this coming uh, weekend, we expect a sudden shift of this direction or most likely it will start to again move back towards the west because the uh, easterlies will become the dominant uh, steering environment and uh, we are going to show to you later on that both the computer models the american and the european model are showing a potential tropical storm development between uh, this coming weekend until December 15. I'm going to show it to you in a while. Uh, let's first discuss the uh, current situation here in the Philippine Islands, but no need to be alarmed. Let's hope and pray that it will still disappear or it will be uh, it will begin on this uh, computer models. Every 12 hours it's been updated. Let's hope and pray it's only uh, some sort of a blip, okay? Blip on the uh, computer models, but uh, we can blame them. They're, these are super, super computers. Computers. These are super computers forecasting these uh, weather systems. So let's hope and pray that uh, it won't develop, but it's still uh, six to ten days. There's still uh, uh, ch uh, changes that will happen or that will occur it may not come through or uh, if it does let's just uh, be prepared okay so no need to be alarmed and just giving some uh, scenario because both of the computer models are predicting it now here's the uh, fast animation 
So there you go. This is the LPA 95W, currently quasi stationary. And then we have the uh, northeast monsoon still affecting uh, the uh, Philippine Islands, majority of the Philippine Islands. So it will be windy, slightly cooler, with uh, rough and dangerous seas surrounding uh, these areas of the archipelago. This is the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. So you can see some gray clouds. These are uh, thunderstorm clouds and with some rain showers generated by uh, the northeast monsoon and the trough from LPA 95W. And if you take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days, we could expect some uh, rainfall across uh, eastern Visayas and central Visayas as well, including northern Mindanao and uh, eastern portions of Mindanao. This is due to the trough of LPA 95W and it's uh, uh, Convergence with the northeast monsoon. That's why it's uh, generating some rains and thunderstorms for the next three days until Wednesday. So take on uh, some precautions against uh, possible uh, flash floods and landslides generated by this system since we are still in the uh, climate of La Nina. So expect rainfall to continue to occur above average rainfall to be exact. And we st also have some showers and thunderstorms here across uh, northern Luzon and the eastern sections. Pickle region, there are a uh, possibility of some showers passing by, but nothing compared with Visayas and northern and eastern Mindanao. Okay. Now, before we leave you, here's now the latest uh, pressure wind forecast from uh, the European model. So, use the LPA. And on Tuesday, the LPA will start to move towards the east, being pushed by the uh, westerlies. And the northeast monsoon will again return. Uh, moderate northeast monsoon with somewhat uh, a strong gust above to 40 or 50 kph. And on Wednesday, it will still continue to affect the whole of Luzon and Visayas, including Mimacopa. And here comes now the LPA moving away from the Philippine Islands. But if we fast forward this, on December 9, it will be there to the south of Guam near the equator. December 10, Friday, it will start to remain quasi-stationary. And on December 11, Saturday, uh, this system will start to move slowly towards the west. And if we look at the American model, there you go. It's also uh, has the same forecast with the European model. Let's go back to the European model. December 12, Sunday. There you go. It's already an active LPA. Uh, while the American model, it's already been upgraded into a, uh, a small system, probably a tropical depression, a tropical storm. The European model, likely, it could become a tropical depression as well. And on Monday, December 13, based on the European model, uh, it continues to move approaching uh, Palau. That will be on December 13, Monday, next Monday. And the uh, mm, American model, it's already a uh, severe tropical, uh, nearing severe tropical storm, but most likely this is conservative in reality it could become a severe tropical storm or even a category one typhoon so this is serious okay this may pose a threat to our country but we are taking a look at these models this is between one two three four five so six to ten days it's still considered as low probability but since there, these are two computer models reliable ones if you look at the European model, it's already a tropical depression as well. So most likely, it's now at 50% probability that it may push through. Let's hope and pray it will still change within the next uh, uh, few days from now, okay? Uh, December 14, Tuesday, the European model, uh, because in the morning of Tuesday, it will enter par. And the European model is already 
upgrades upgrade the system into tropical storm while the American model it's somewhere here okay severe tropical storm or possibility it's between a severe tropical storm or category 1 typhoon on 14 of December Tuesday next week there you go ECMWF approaching northeastern Manila or northern Carga area so uh, as of this time we must uh, observe this system okay uh, let's hope and uh, as I always say this let's hope and pray that it will still change American model shows here becoming a typhoon approaching eastern Visayas and on the 15th if we use the uh, European model there you go noon of Wednesday December 15th making landfall over Surigao provinces so possibility as a severe tropical storm or a category 1 typhoon while the American model also shows uh, a possible landfall later on on Wednesday December 15 as a typhoon approaching uh, eastern coast of uh, Giwan if we move forward this until the evening of Wednesday December 15 uh, it will now be over Bohol Sea after traversing Surigao provinces or northern uh, I mean Surigao del Norte based on the European model while the American model is uh, still approaching eastern uh, Samar but on the evening uh, around 10 or 11 p.m. it will be over Tacloban or later area while the uh, European model it's over the uh, southern coast of Bohol. So these are two uh, different uh, possible uh, landfall of this potential storm. Uh, just like I said, this is on day 10. So the probability here is around 30%. Okay. We're not yet sure. Let's hope and pray it will dissipate. We will keep you updated in the coming days. So this is some breaking news because of both the computer when both of the computer models shows uh, there's a strong or the probability will be uh, now at medium chance or moderate chance since although it's still ten days but if these two are I mean these two shows that it there will be a potential development. So let's be prepared, okay? So we'll keep you updated on Wednesday and as well as Friday. There will be some two different days of different uh, forecast tracks of this potential storm. Uh, for, uh, most likely, this could be the last of the year. But let's hope, let's hope and pray that it will it will not push through, okay? Uh, we know that every twelve hours, computer models changes. So since it's still day eight to ten. There is still a long way to go that it, this will still change. So we'll keep you updated. So to summarize this, if we uh, create a cone of uncertainty, the possible track of this new system is at this uh, going this direction. Okay. So even uh, here in Bicol region, Although it's south of our location, it depends on how large the system. Since it's it shows a uh, small system, we could be affected by the enhanced northeast monsoon. But if it it will go up like what the American models uh, uh, are showing, uh, is showing, I mean, and we could be uh, experiencing some uh, rain and wind as well because of its close proximity to its uh, outer circulation but if it uh, if the track is more on the european model side uh, we are going just we are going to experience the uh, enhanced northeast monsoon and the easterly surface wind flow so that's it mm, no need to be alarmed just giving you the real facts of this uh, potential system this is just a surprise for this evening since uh, this morning it doesn't show a uh, tropical cyclone except for the American model, but the European model says nothing. But uh, this afternoon it showed 
there is a possible potential tropical storm. Okay, so we'll be back on Wednesday to give you more details on that potential system for next week. Again, let's hope and pray. Let's all pray that this system won't push through. Oh, it will just be a low pressure area. But since we are on La Nina, so expect rainfall during those uh, times. Okay, next week. Okay, so that's it. That's the latest. That's the latest heads up on that potential system. Again, from Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. And see you again this Wednesday. And, uh, and thank you so much. See you again this Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching our channel.